How is Isaiah Pacheco bulldozing through the league? In the NFL last season, there were many players that were late round draft picks that made a huge impact with their team's success. One such player was Isaiah Pacheco, who is a running back for the Super Bowl champions, the Kansas City Chiefs. Who is Isaiah Pacheco? What has made him a standout in this league already? What do some of his coaches think of how he has been playing? What makes him a unique player in the NFL? Find out all this and more on this episode of Football Craze. Welcome, and before we get started, stay to the end to find out which Super Bowl champion shares some similarities with Pacheco. You will not believe it. Who is Isaiah Pacheco? What makes him so different from other NFL players? Pacheco is from Vineland, New Jersey. He attended high school in that area and wasn't the most highlighted player in the region. But tragedy in Isaiah's life sparked his work ethic going into his senior season. Pacheco lost two siblings to murder in the span of a year. He did not let these tragedies negatively affect how he was going to move forward in his life. Instead, he made a shrine to those people he lost on his bedroom mirror. He uses that shrine to motivate himself to higher levels of living. He holds himself to a very high standard because he wants to dedicate his life to those he has lost. Coming out of high school, he was a three-star recruit, so he wasn't well sought after by big schools. Pacheco decided to attend Rutgers University because it was close to home and was a big enough program to get noticed by the NFL. Isaiah did not set the world on fire at Rutgers, but he did very well. He had over 500 carries, more than 2,000 yards rushing, and 18 touchdowns in his college career. Pacheco would not be the most sought out player in the draft, but all he needed was an opportunity to prove his doubters wrong. What type of impact would Pacheco have on the league? Pacheco fell all the way to the seventh round, but he was drafted to a team in the Chiefs, which are one of the best teams in the NFL in the last five years. Not only was this a great opportunity, but there wouldn't be a lot of pressure on Isaiah to succeed. With the Chiefs having the league MVP in Patrick Mahomes, a quarterback, and the pass-happy coach in Andy Reid, there wouldn't be many opportunities for Pacheco in the Chiefs' offense. This wouldn't stop him from storming onto the scene in the NFL. Pacheco would end the season as the fourth best rookie running back in yards with 840 yards rushing. Isaiah wouldn't stop there. He would get five rushing touchdowns, which would put him in the top 10 rookie running backs in the league. However, the biggest impact that Isaiah would have on the Chiefs season would occur in the Super Bowl, but we will get to that a little later. What makes Pacheco an amazing athlete? What skills does Isaiah bring to the Chiefs? Isaiah ran a 4.37 second 40-yard dash time at the NFL Combine prior to him being drafted. This time would be the second fastest among running backs at the 2022 NFL Combine. Pacheco doesn't just bring speed to the table, he also brings power and purpose with all of his movements on the field. NFL Network personality Brian Baldinger coined Electrico Pacheco for the jolt he brings to the Chiefs offense. With the Chiefs losing a speed king in Tyreek Hill to free agency, the Chiefs' selection of Pacheco was their hope of replacing some of that speed. Leading into the 2022 playoffs, the Chiefs were heavily favored to win the championship. All of that would have disappeared if it wasn't for Pacheco and the Chiefs' running game. How did Isaiah help save the Chiefs' championship run in 2022? What did some of Pacheco's coaches have to say about the rookie? Andy Reid has been around the NFL for a long time. Andy has been surrounded by many talented running backs. But the next great running back for Andy to coach is Pacheco. Andy had some high praise for his young running back leading into the playoffs. He's got a tremendous amount of energy, Coach Andy Reid said. Loves to play the game. He's smart. We asked the running backs to do quite a bit in the run game and pass the game and protections. So he has handled all that, done it well, but most of all, he is that energizer bunny guy. He's got endless energy. You see it when he's on the field playing. You see it at practice. That's who he is. Coach Reed had to lean on that energizer bunny more in the playoffs because of a high ankle sprain sustained in the divisional round against the Jacksonville Jaguars to Patrick Mahomes. In that game, backup quarterback Chad Henney came in, but Reed wanted to lean more on the running game while Patrick was getting treatment for his ankle. Pacheco had 95 yards rushing in that game and helped his team to victory. That assistance would be helpful going forward in the playoffs because his quarterback would be playing the rest of the playoffs with a significant injury. Stay tuned right there because coming up next you will hear how Pacheco helped save a championship from slipping away from the Chiefs. 
also stay to the end and find out which former Washington football player has strong similarities to Pacheco. In Super Bowl 57, the Philadelphia Eagles and Kansas City Chiefs were in a shootout. At the end of the first half, the Eagles were up by 10 points, and Patrick Mahomes went down clutching his ankle. With questions at halftime if Mahomes would be able to continue, Pacheco's moment to help his team was at the best moment. The Chiefs came out of the locker room and began to run the ball more to protect Mahomes from further injury. Pacheco was a big part of that second half resurgence that helped the Chiefs to attain their latest championship. Pacheco had 15 carries for 76 yards and a pivotal touchdown. Mahomes might have won the Super Bowl MVP, but he wouldn't have been up on that trophy stage if it wasn't for Pacheco's performance. What do some of Pacheco's teammates think of him? As a rookie in the NFL, it is hard to gain respect from your teammates early on, especially if you're a rookie that was a late round pick like Pacheco. Many of Pacheco's teammates have already voiced respect and love for Pacheco's play. One such player is the co-running back Jarek McKinnon. We were playing one game and he kind of got burped on the sideline. Somebody got him good. He popped straight up, sprinted right back to the huddle. Everybody on the sideline just looked like, this dude is wired different. He's wired different. Considering that Pacheco took some carries away from McKinnon later in the season, for Jarek to have that profound respect for Pacheco says a lot. Another teammate that has a lot of respect for Pacheco is one of those guys that makes some of the holes for Isaiah to run through. This player is veteran lineman Andrew Wiley. Wiley went into depth on how much he loves Pacheco. He runs angry, so you're really trying to give it all you've got, giving him however much space he needs to get through the line, because you never know if he's going to pop off that block or not. He's a really hard guy to tackle with an arm tackle, so we just try to get him through the line to the end zone. Which former Rutgers running back is most comparable to Pacheco? Coming out of Rutgers, Pacheco would statistically be one of the best running backs that the university football program produced. The only other Rutgers running back who made it big in the NFL was former Ravens running back Ray Rice. Pacheco and Rice are alike in how they play, but they are also alike in how quick in their NFL career they won a championship. Pacheco did it in his rookie season, and Rice did it in his fourth season. They also have similarities in their playing style. Both have an explosive step once they find the hole. They both have cutting ability that can put defenders on skates. Coming up next is the unveiling of the player that best parallels Pacheco's journey up to this point. When I say the name Larry Brown, you might think of the basketball coach, but there was a good running back who played for the Washington Redskins in the early 1970s. Larry Brown, the running back, was the centerpiece of Washington's offense during that time. Brown had two 1,000-yard seasons in his first two seasons. The similarities are that Brown was an 8th round pick of the Redskins. Brown also got drafted to a team that relied heavily on the play of their quarterback. When Brown got to Washington, there was a young talented quarterback by the name of Sonny Jurgensen. Brown would also appear in the Super Bowl, but the result would not be the same as Pacheco. Brown's team faced off against the undefeated Miami Dolphins in 1973. Brown's team would lose in the Super Bowl. Brown has not yet been considered for the Hall of Fame, but he is in the Washington Commander's Ring of Honor. Isaiah Pacheco has already proven how talented he is, but the next steps will be how he will continue to motivate himself to become one of the greats. Pacheco can take comfort in the fact that he is surrounded by future Hall of Fame coaches and players. He can also look at that bedroom mirror and be proud of what he has accomplished so far. Being compared to running backs like Larry Brown and Ray Rice, the praise can continue to motivate the future successes for Pacheco. There is no doubt that Isaiah will be a force in this league for many years to come, but it is also a certainty that his football career will be benefited by the team that is around him. Thank you for watching this episode of Football Craze. Please join us again.